I'm Tim Martinez, and I'm the program administrator for the Arroyos and Foothills Conservancy. We're a land trust, so we work to save our natural open spaces here in the local area. Here in California, we actually live in the most biodiverse area in the whole United States. Not only do we want to save land, but there's a broader context to saving land. Nothing tells a story better of the importance of preserving these open spaces than actually seeing the images of the wildlife and the videos of the wildlife themselves. I'm Joanna Turner. My name is uh, Denny Calais. I'm a camera trapper. 4.50 a.m. We saw their work and we said, it's the perfect partnership. So we teamed up with them. They're now advisors to our conservancy and demonstrate to people that we have all these amazing species of wildlife that are literally right there in their own backyard, which they may have never seen their entire life. Camera trapping is using either commercially made or home-built cameras with motion sensors, setting them out along a game trail or a human trail. And when an animal just come by, the camera get triggered and you get a picture. It's like being a spy. <laughs> there is a lot of extra work you have to do. You gotta understand the way they move. So no leaves have fallen on it. The edges are real sharp. You gotta understand the way they leave. It's really fun and really frustrating at the same time. I got a half a cougar. This is really hard to do. Seven months to wait just for one picture. We followed fresh lion tracks and got really excited and walk home empty handed. Nothing. There is nothing, nothing here. When you do get something, it's exciting. It's a scavenger hunt type of feeling. One picture will make everything great. There's something about these wildlife photos that people just are drawn to. It's visual and it has an impact on people. It's a thrill to be able to see that and to know that we live in a place that's surrounded by such wonderful and diverse nature. The images that we've been getting allow people to understand the animal in a different way. An animal walking through in the middle of the night when nobody's around is going to act normally. They're going to be calm. They're going to take their time. That's as close as we've seen her after. Yeah. Oh, she's rubbing on the rock too. There's a connection here that is personal. It's those personal experiences with nature that makes people care. He sent a message to people, it's out there. And he sent a message we need to conserve. If they don't know it exists, they're not going to want to protect it. I think it's an eye-opener for the effect of urbanization. Our natural open spaces are becoming islands of habitat, surrounded by development, by freeways, by roads, where animals couldn't get in or out. Creating wildlife corridors and connecting up all these open spaces is actually the number one way we can preserve our biodiversity. They need space. I mean, if they have the space and they thrive, we will thrive too. I think it has much broader implications for the health of the ecosystem that we live in than a lot of people even realize. It moves beyond wildlife photography because for us, this is data. We're actually seeing where the wildlife move where we need to connect up areas, and what species we even have there. What started off as a passion project has become something that's really contributing to our understanding of local wildlife.